but wearing my natural hair was literally breaking it off. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is India Alexis. Welcome back to another video. On my channel, I do vlogs, I do fashion hauls here and then, and honestly, just a little bit of anything else I want to do. So if that's your vibe, subscribe. <laughs> Today, I wanted to do a sit down video just talking about how I was able to take my hair from this to this in a little over six months this picture was in december of 2023 and this picture was when i got my hair blown out by the dominicans two weeks ago um but yes this was about six months in between and i kind of came to the realization i was not able to retain any length wearing my hair in its natural state and we about to get into why Okay, so if you're new on this channel, let's just get into a quick little rundown of my natural hair journey. I feel like everybody got one. Natural hair journey. So I have always had, I'll insert some pictures over here. I have always had really super thick, dense, very dense. As I mean, I have a lot of strands of hair on my head since I was a child. Cue the picture. Um, like my hair has always been super, super dense. Growing up, my mom, she did our hair up until maybe eighth or ninth grade, middle high school, and then we started doing our hair ourselves. Um, if it wasn't in cornrows, it was in like these big juicy twists with the bubbles. You know how girls be wearing their hair. And then maybe around like eighth or ninth grade, we started going to the Dominicans to get our hair blown out every maybe every other month. Um, and from there, I got a lot of heat damage. So by the time I graduated high school and went to college, it was around 2015 time period. Everybody and their mother was going natural. Natural 85 was popping here on YouTube. And I was like, I'm gonna be chopped because I have all this heat damage. And this is what my hair looked like in 2015 when I big chopped. At that point, I was so excited. I was wearing my hair in its little twist outs and braid outs my hair has always been natural but because i had heat damage from getting it blown out so often i can never do twist outs i rarely saw my hair in it's like curly state or whatever so i was just so excited to be able to like you know wear curly style wear my hair up in a puff and just like have that big hair what i realized over time after the hype of the twist outs and braid outs and flexi rod sets and all that stuff died down um i realized wearing my hair in the twist outs braid outs puffs especially and slick back buns was literally breaking my hair off <laughs> and honestly i think it probably just had to do the way that i was manipulating my hair i was wearing my hair in like a tight puff all the time i was putting lots of gel on it so that it can be as sleek as possible to get like into that slick back bun i was having a lot of like sore scalp at that time too like especially in like the crown of my head because of the tight styles and i was experiencing some breakage at the crown of my head as well probably because i wasn't detangling right or i was detangling too rough or i was detangling too fast i don't know i feel like i just wasn't nurturing my hair the way that it needed to be nurtured at the time because it was just a lot like literally washing my hair and then waiting for the style to set took around five to six hours and i was just like i don't got the time for this so i was rushing through the styles and it was just breaking my hair off and don't get me wrong like natural hair is beautiful i'm not saying you shouldn't wear your natural hair or anything like that but just personally the way that i was manipulating my hair my hair was growing like it was getting bigger from this and then i'll put what it looked like maybe a year ago right here like it was definitely growing but when it was time for me to get my hair blown out i had breakage all over the place i had breakage up here i had breakage in the back from the tight styles i had breakage in the front my ends were super super split because i would go months and months and months and months without a trim so last year i'll insert the picture again when i went to go get my hair trimmed she had to cut off so much and i was like i'm tired of this like my hair is not growing i know that my hair can grow but like it's just not growing so um at that point, I just decided to stop doing a couple of different things. So the first thing that I did was stop wearing my hair in its natural state, unfortunately, because it honestly just wasn't working for me. And what I realized as well is that the protective styles that I was doing, the buns or the braids, were also breaking my hair off. And that's another long topic to talk about. There's a lot of protective styles that aren't really protective, especially like small knotless braids that pull on your edges and they're like super super small like those styles while they're pretty they just 
are not really good for your hair. So cause some of the styles that I started doing in between um, last year, December time to like uh, maybe two months ago when I took my braids out were big jumbo braids because it's not too much pulling and tugging on your edges and different areas of your scalp. Big jumbo braids like this one. And then also like cornrow styles, like where there's not a lot of manipulation at all. Just wearing my hair pulled back into a cornrow bun, like tying my hair around and wearing it wrapped up like that for like a good month. Leaving my hair alone in those styles was not only cost efficient because it's less costly to get big braids and like stitch braids and things like that than small knotless braids but it also just helped my hair to grow as well the next thing that helped me to retain length in the past like six months has been in between those styles getting my hair trimmed like getting my hair trimmed and wearing it straight like how it is right now um like as you can tell i went to get my hair trimmed maybe two months ago when I was back home in New York. Um, so I don't think I would need to get a trim anytime soon. My ends still look really nice, but your hair is not gonna grow if it's gonna continue just like break off. The next thing that I've been able to do in the past couple of months uh, to help me actually like see my hair growth and retain the length, more importantly, is wear my hair straight. <laughs> when I wear my hair straight, again, I don't want nobody to come for me, oh my goodness, you hate your hair, you hate your natural hair. When I wear my hair straight, it's just easier to manage. There's less breakage, I can comb through it, like, like, it's just easier to manage when it's in a blown out or stretched or flat iron state and honestly to be 100% real I don't really care about heat damage anymore like whatever it is what it is <laughs> yeah honestly it is what it is like whatever blow me out put me on the highest heat setting <laughs> also as soon as I started wearing my hair straight all that scalp tenderness from wearing my hair in like tight ponytails and tight puffs and tight buns kind of went away like i was experiencing like increased uh, scalp tenderness in the crown of my head and like it would hurt every time i had a puff like i would have to loosen my puff when i was out and about and it was just like very annoying so when i have my hair straight it can just be like just free you know when i wear my hair like just straight i don't really have to worry about putting it in a ponytail or putting in a high puff if the twist out didn't turn out right like if it's puffy i don't care like i really don't care um my hair is gonna sweat out in the summertime like it's not that big of a deal but like i'd rather just wear it out as opposed to like pulling it back into really tight styles you know what i mean also in between the protective styles and getting trims and everything like that i honestly don't care what my hair looks like anymore <laughs> to be honest like i feel like when i was wearing my hair natural i was more self-conscious if my edges weren't laid right if my puff was in the right position like if my twist out came out nice if my braid out came out nice now i frankly don't care like if my hair starts to puff up it is what it is i feel like when you just start to let your hair do what it wants to do don't pull it into like really tight styles i feel like it just like flourishes at that point so, so honestly i am a yapper and I just wanted to talk about uh, realizations on how I realized where my hair in its natural state was breaking it off and how I was able to retain length in the past six months. Hopefully I can come back with another six months update at the end of the year. And my hair can at least be, you know, at my, what is this called? Elbow, girl. At my uh, armpit, like it'll be from here to here. It's currently like bumped a little bit at the end because I wear my hair in like rollers going to sleep. But hopefully by the end of the year, um, It'll be at my armpit or whatever. I do just want to add a disclaimer to all my natural hair warriors that this is what works for me personally. If you can wear your natural hair and flourish and all those different type of things, do you. But this is just what has worked for me. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a comment below if you can relate to anything that I'm saying. Like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'm going to catch you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs> Love is a mind, a million. It goes on and on.